And we're back, and we're going to be going over uh, wavetable oscillators and specialty oscillators. Now, wavetable oscillators, uh, when you think of those, uh, I'll be going through the ones in the virus, I'll be going through the ones in the massive, um, and they are a complex oscillator, so you can get a quick kind of instant uh, unique timbre. Uh, so, yeah, there's quite a bit, uh, a bunch of synths do this. Uh, so, no, I don't know. Multiplex. Right. It's very interesting. It kind of looks like, kind of looks like a, a a square wave um, that has a bit of frequency modulation in it. Uh, one of my favorites would probably be Acid, because it looks like it, it, it's low pass filtered. Um, when and uh, the resonance is uh, boosted, right? Uh, so, what what are they? Uh, they were used, I believe. I uh, don't quote me on this, but in the mid '80s, uh, and they were they they the sounds weren't produced um, from uh, a circuit or an IC. They were kind of in memory. Uh, so they're just like like a snippet of a file. We'll we'll say a file for the, the the sake of the lesson, but it's a short little file that just repeats over and over again. Uh, there's quite a few. Uh, they were used uh, also by Access, and they're kind of hidden. So I will bring number two up. So so we have uh, our signy. Or our, our saw, uh, and if you move this over, you get a list of all of their uh, wave shapes. There's also triangle, uh, but they're all kind of unique-looking uh, wave shapes. Uh, and these were used uh, back in the day to kind of emulate, say, an organ sound or you know kind of they they were kind of like go to sounds and they were they were an easy way to kind of free up voices uh and they were kind of revolutionary at its time yeah. and there's quite a bit of interesting ones here So yeah, this would be like an organ. So you, you would instantly get that timbre, uh, and they were used in quite a bit of sense. And yeah, I, I still like to use them, um, just for the sake of, you know, I don't know what word I'm looking for. Just for the sake of being old school. Uh, kind of gives you a warm fuzzy feeling uh, and that would be a uh, wavetable uh, yeah look into wavetables because they're pretty cool uh, so and that leaves me with uh, specialty oscillators um, these are interesting kind of oscillators uh, and they do some weird stuff to your sound or they, they take a they take a, a wavetable and then they alter it in a very strange way and that would be uh, grain and then format filters. Uh, I don't know these that well, uh, but you know they're pretty cool. They're another way to kind of alter everything. It's also a DSP killer. Uh, but okay, this is my this is my favorite specialty oscillator of all time, of all time. Uh, and it is the hyper saw or the super saw. I have both in front of me. Um, and it is taking eight or seven. Uh, saw waves and then detuning them and this is done through one voice so we'll stack them up like that we have them all here and then I'll just detune them so this is what it sounds like when they're all stacked up together and then you can detune them right and that is 
uh, just one oscillator and it's and it stacks them all up and uh, detunes them slightly and you know unison and all that fun stuff well with spread I guess so yeah and who knows what kind of specialty oscillators we'll get in like 10 years uh, Cyclop has a, quite a few cool ones uh, but they all kind of do some weird stuff uh, you never know some might be being cooked up by some German programmer because that's usually where a lot of cool stuff comes from it can be coming out right now okay that is uh, wavetable oscillators and specialty oscillators uh, fundamental all right hope you learned stuff <laughs>